All right, guys, we are working on the 2016 Camaro. This is the Cam Sport. Um, we just wanted to show you guys what some of the products are that are in this kit. Uh, we wanted to go over the actual hood install. Um, we've been asked what are these little pieces that we have in these kits. And what this is is a lineup for your void. So it's just a simple pre-made void. You line it up with the body line, okay? You can see right here, the body line goes straight up. It just gives it to where you don't have to use masking tape. You just use those little pieces. It already gives you the pre-spaced void. There are six of them in the kit, so you have plenty to do the hood, the deck lid, and the front nose on the Super Sport. And other than that, we will get involved with the uh, hood install. All right, so we've already got the passenger side done. Uh, what we have done now is we've lined up this side with the voided stripes that we uh, have included in the kit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and center the stripe around the vent on the SS. Granted, if it's not an SS, you, know, you don't have to worry about that. Um, tape down the edges, and we are doing a hinge method with the Supreme Wrap material, um, always. Remember, do not install this material wet. It always has to be dry. All right, as you see, we tacked up the side next to the void up top. Then keep the material off of the car with your right hand. And then start working back and forth, even strokes, um, going back and forth until you reach up by the windshield. Now always make sure you come back with firm squeegee strokes after you have done this. Make sure that there's no air left in it. Um, very firm. You almost want to feel the metal bend a little bit. Alright, so we've taken off the hinge. Now we're going to work on going around the vent to the front of the vehicle. Alright, if you notice Went ahead and tacked the front corner up against the void. The right side, we're just gonna kind of leave up in the air a little bit. We're gonna work around that vent to start. Okay, the front part of this gets a little tricky. You really need to start working the material back and forth. And as you notice, we keep popping up the material, laying it back down, get a few more squeegee strokes in, pop it back up. This is the benefit of working with the Supreme Wrap material or the 3M 1080 is just the ease of being able to do this. Okay, so now the next step is remove your voids, get firm squeegee strokes going back over your stuff. Make sure you post heat the film after you're done. And then we can move on to the front clip. Doing this install, make sure you clean really good underneath the hood, uh, right behind this rubber gasket on the front clip and behind, because this kit does roll the edges. Another thing that I wanted to bring up is before you do an install, make sure that you are looking at the clear coat of the kit. Uh, if you see indentions like this underneath your material, a lot of times that's actually in the clear coat. That is not something you're just going to be able to fix. Uh, we found a spot right here that we have already checked out and this is in the clear coat. Um, these cars are notorious for having all kinds of junk and spots in the clear and it will show right through your material. So it's important that you guys document that, make sure you have a list of those bad areas and show them to your dealer. So in case they come back and complain about it, you can say, look, all of this is in the clear coat. There's nothing I could do about that. And that's just a helpful tip to make sure you guys are covering yourselves. All right, so here is the uh, front nose of the Cam Sport. Um, go ahead and line it up to your stripe you've already put on the hood. Um, then what you're going to do is there's a little break or a bend in the front of the kit. You're going to line that up right with the edge that starts rolling over on the front nose. Um, as soon as you get that basically lined up, you're set. 
On this one, you don't even need to tape it. And once again, this will roll into the inside area where the hood is, and there is a rubber gasket in there. So make sure you get that area cleaned off before you start tucking it in there. All right, now on the Super Sport, the kit actually goes on to the front bumper, whereas the RS does not. The RS stops here on the front nose, um, but for the SS, the factory style actually goes on to the bumper. Once again, just line it up with the grill and your void. All right, as we wrap this up, uh, make sure you take off your mask, go over it once again with a firm squeegee stroke, take off pre-mask, and make sure you post-heat it.